bears will be bears. Better to hide the kids be where they are coming out. They are bigger now than ever before. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Crucible Radio. Your source for all things Destiny 2 PvP. And uh, this week, we are returning to our solo episode format that we did about a year ago. Uh, I did one, Birds did one, Bones did one. Uh, Bones was actually doing a preview of Gaming Hell, his other podcast that he does. We feel like it's a good time in the little cycle that we have going with Destiny to kind of do it again, a uh, bit of a lull, some might say. Uh, we are between content drops. The season of the Drifter is about a month away, and sometimes it's just a little hard to kind of get in front of the microphone and uh, tell you to uh, try this loadout or, hey, what did you get? What gun did you get this week? So, uh, Opposed to that, we're going to do some of these solo episodes. Uh, they don't tend to fall within the realm of Destiny. Um, we do very much enjoy talking about other things as well. Um, and if you remember my episode from last year, I did an interview with sports psychologist Steve, our one of our favorite guests here on the show. And... We talked a little bit about mindfulness. We talked a little bit about how to incorporate uh, some next level thinking into your gaming. And I think this time around, this is going to be a little little off the cuff. Um, I'm going to get up here and kind of just talk to you guys (laughs) Uh, a little bit about myself, a little bit about some of the things I have going on. Um, I think they're relatable. And I think for some people, they're going to download this episode and think, oh, God, here goes Swain again. Uh, Tell me to meditate, telling me to do this, that and the other thing. And that's not that's not what this episode's going to be about. Um, And I hope I really hope that some of you take away from this that I'm not sure what you take away. (laughs) Like I said, a little off the cuff. Um, I wrote a whole entire outline, not a whole entire outline, but I wrote a decent amount. And what ended up happening was uh, I looked at it. I kept looking at it and I kept procrastinating while sitting in front of it and not finishing it and feeling like I had to finish it. Um, Maybe I don't trust myself to kind of talk in an orderly manner, but it's really, it's really hard to like, kind of get everything down and then be like, oh, I'm going to stick to this for the entire show. Um, so some of you may remember, um, I talked a little bit about, kind of a little bit about addiction in the past, um, a little bit about my relationship with Destiny um, as a game, as a video game in general, and how other people's relationships with destiny kind of I wouldn't say irks me but uh sometimes gaming isn't necessarily seen as a vice uh and i think sometimes it should be there's definitely times um there's a few close friends and a few people that i know like as acquaintances that i kind of you know see how much they game. Um, And in general, I'm the type of person that wants to, I don't, I don't want to say, I don't want to be preachy. Like I never want to get up here and say, like I said before, like, I don't want to be like, you need to change your life. There's so much out there. There's like, the grass is always, uh, the grass is green on the other side. Go out and achieve your best. Because, like, even personally to me, that kind of feels, like, ugh, really gross. Like, a little, I don't know, that cringy almost. Like, I don't want to be that person that says, 
hey, change your life now. Like, this is this is the way to do it. And I'm never that sort of person to, like, broach the subject with other friends or uh, people that I know to be like, hey, dude, I think you're playing video games a little much. I'd probably be the worst, like, uh, intervention leader. <laughs> um, I really, really don't think I would be good at that. But the point of this is kind of, I very much, it's part of why we started the show, is I like learning with people. I like going about changing my life and hopefully changing others. I do care a whole lot about others and how they succeed uh, almost to the point of like a fault. (laughs) Um, If I'm really into something and I do believe that it like changes, it can change someone's life or that they should be doing it too. Um, I really have a hard time holding myself back. Um, But this is a podcast. I can just talk out into the, to the world and talk about the things I like and talk about all these different uh, interests and learning opportunities that I've taken on. So I'm going to ramble a bit, a little bit about uh, a lot of things. In December of this year, uh, I took a decent amount of time off of Destiny. Uh, I struggle sometimes with how much I should play because we do an a weekly podcast about the game. We interview people that this is their job. They play Destiny day in and day out, whether it's on YouTube or on Twitch or some other fashion of doing things. Who knows? Facebook or whatever. (laughs) Um, And a lot of times I feel like an imposter just sitting there talking to these people that know so much more about this than me while I'm not even playing the game. Uh, and that's rough. That feels, I don't know, it, it gets to me. It gets to me in the back of my head, like a little nagging voice, like, you're not supposed to be here. Or you shouldn't be talking about this right now. A lot of times that ends up with me being kind of silent on episodes and not really contributing a ton. Um... But like I said, I took a, I took a break uh, in December and I wanted to really step away for a minute and see what's going on. Because, you know, I, I did the dredging thing and that really shined a light on things. But still, like I was all ready for a big content drop in Black Armory. And what ended up happening was it was too much. And it was too much for what at the beginning was, wasn't really any reward in my eyes. So I took some time off, uh, almost the whole month, uh, for being honest. And I played some Spider-Man, kind of got a different view of things. I... Spend time with my wife. Uh, I'm focused on making Christmas good for my family and friends. Uh, Of course, there's work and a ton of work to do. There's special events, all that. I focused on my fitness a hell of a lot, uh, to be honest. Ever since October, I've been, well, the end of October, uh, I've really kicked it up a notch with trying to better myself physically. Uh... And what I ended up learning was like the only part of it that really got to me was this, like feeling guilty, like that I'm here week in and week out doing this podcast about thinking that I'm not doing. And that really got to me. Like it makes me feel stressed. It makes me feel uh, a little worn out around the edges and here, here going forward, I probably will be a little bit more liberal with, you know, 
hey, I might need a, I might need a week off. That's why these solo episodes are really coming at a good time. I need a few weeks off, and that works pretty pretty darn good for me. Um, but this just feeds back into the addiction thing. Like, there's not just the fact that we're playing a lot or I'm missing out on a lot. It's the idea that I have to keep going back to it and keep investing my time. And that's something I don't want to fall into again. Uh, as much as I love this video game, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to be that obsessed over a virtual thing. About a year and a half ago, um, almost two years at this point, I was a little bit in a rut. Uh, I was super stressed. I was coming out of purchasing my house, moving into my house, getting married, all of this within like two straight months. Uh, and I was just like, I was wrecked. <laughs> I was wrecked emotionally, uh, physically. I was in a terrible shape. Um, and part of that, like looking back, like I didn't make it any better by playing a lot of video games during that time. I definitely did not help myself by doing that. Um, but there was a bright point in there. Um, I discovered a thing. This is going to seem like a f fucking multi-level marketing uh, scheme, but I'm not, like I said, I'm not preaching. I'm not trying to get you to do a thing. I'm just telling my story and kind of talking about what I've been doing. And like I said, off the cuff, um, I discovered a thing called uh, financial independence. And that moment, when I heard a young couple on this other podcast, it's a, a podcast called uh, Financial Independence, Mad Scientist. Um, it was a young couple that had retired at like 33. And I distinctly remember this moment. Like, it'll probably be with me for a long time. But I remember listening to this in my car. And it was dark out. Uh, I was driving to pick up my wife and I was listening to it and hearing this couple talk about their wonderful life. Like they are not tied to their jobs anymore. They're not tied to the everlasting grind of I've got to do more. I've got to do more and I have to tie myself to this thing that makes money. Uh, hearing these people, they were traveling the world. They were, doing their thing. They ate whatever they wanted every day. They were enjoying each other. And I just got like, oh, like overwhelming emotions. Like, I want that. I want that so bad. What can I do? And I'm an obsessive type of personality. <laughs> I... When I like things, I really get into them and I research them and I listen to every ounce of content I can get about a thing and I go so deep into it. It's happened to me a lot of times in my life. Um, I can think of like stuff like when I was a kid getting way too obsessed with Pokemon and <laughs> taking that way too far or food like when i discovered food as a love that's something i really really got into and like put my all into so discovering financial independence was a whole new world like it really like just opened my eyes and was like you want this thing and a lot of people think about their retirement as I'm going to be 65 and I'm going to just work until then and just, you know, 
while that's happening, I'll save when I can and I will do my 401k when I can or do this, that, and the other thing when I can. Um, but the depressing thing is if you wait till 65, you've given up so much of your life to just work day in and day out, just work for someone, a lot of times for someone else, not even for something that you care about, not even for something you're passionate about. And part of that, like dispatch, dispassion about something, it grinds on your soul. It wears you down day in and day out. You end up in a place where you just don't like anything about what you're doing. And part of the financial independence thing was like, no, no, no. Most of you are probably going to keep working. Like not many people just straight up retire, sit on the couch, watch Netflix. That's it. Or retire and just become a couch potato and, you know, bum around outside and do nothing. I would say from listening to many people's stories and consuming all these books that the financial independent, the best part about that, I'll just short it to FI. The best part about FI is realizing you can get to a point where with your money and with saving and with the way you cut expenses or whatever, you get to the point where you realize I can finally, after having set myself straight, I can finally spend my time doing something that coincidentally pays money, but I love, like genuinely love. That's the goal, man. Like that's where everybody should be working towards. So shouldn't everybody be like, doing their things so that one day they can just wake up and basically like if you went like go to a job where if they didn't pay you you'd be pretty okay with that wouldn't that be nice and i've spent the last two years researching this and like i said consuming all the content and I haven't really gotten much in the way of traction about executing it. And there's times where it depresses me. I feel depressed about it. Um, Sometimes like I take two steps backwards and not a step forward. And it gets frustrating there's days where i get in the car and i would normally like listen to something about it i can't put it on because i don't i wasn't i'm not going in that direction right away and hearing these other people talk about it was it's depressing that you can't like i couldn't personally get in that direction fast And what I'm realizing, like, as of lately is, like, I need to focus on making myself happy. First and foremost, being happy is the point of this, right? Like, everything about it was, like, I want to be happy. I want to do things. I want to learn. I want to wake up and like enjoy every moment of my day, spend time with my wife, do fun things outside, like go on adventures, visit other cities, all of these things that make me happy. Eat great food. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, there's a, there's a part of me had to put aside a lot of that stuff and really focus on making myself happy. 
um, seeing a therapist, uh, kind of working things out that way. But there's a part of me still that wants to help others with this. Because, you know, honestly, I just want everybody else to be happy too. Um, there's not, there's not a lot I can personally do to reach out and help some people realize this. And then, you know, I'm sure there'll be plenty of YouTube comments or Reddit comments to say, wow, like Swain, you're, you're, you're really, you're not really speaking to me. <laughs> this is a bunch of mumbo jumbo that I don't want to listen to. Where's my destiny? But like, hopefully, I'll I'll feel happy if I reach at least one person with what I have to say here, and they go down the path of fi yeah financial independence. That I I don't know. There's a lot to it, a lot more to it than that. Like what I've been able to like throw out today, and there's plenty of other better resources than me. <laughs> I am at the bottom of this journey, the very start of it. And I've been really going at it for two years now. Um, but I'm not going to give up. No, not at all. I'm, I am a hundred percent not going to give up. I'm just going to refocus my journey towards being happy through the whole thing uh not just the end result where i'm doing all this hard work and then i'm happy so i'm <laughs> i'm working towards some things i am doing some behind the scenes stuff on some projects and some other great things that are making me happy and i really want to share with you guys today a little bit more of what I am working towards and what I am thinking about. Um, this is, there's going to be really no good place to put this in this episode, but uh, our podcast does have a sponsor and they help pay the bills. So you're going to listen to this, uh, this ad real quick. Uh, you spend one third of your life sleeping so you should be pretty darn comfortable. That's what the experts at Casper believe. They've worked tirelessly to make three quality sleep surfaces, the Casper, the Wave, and the Essential, that cradle your natural geometry in all the right places. Each Casper mattress is designed, developed, and assembled in the U.S. and gets delivered right to your door in a small, how did they do that, size box. Plus, returns are hassle-free, and if you're not completely satisfied, just send it back. I have been sleeping on a Casper for quite some time now, and I never had trouble sleeping. It could be a combination of being really tired all the time, but also they this mattress is, is legit. Like, I recommend it to everyone even if they don't know my podcast, like even if they do not use our code, I say you should you should get this mattress. It's it's so comfortable. It works amazingly. So get fifty dollars towards select mattresses by visiting Casper.com slash crucible and using crucible at checkout. That's C R U C I B L E for fifty dollars off select mattresses. Act fast to take advantage of Casper's President's Day offer between February 9th and February 19th and save 10% off any mattress purchased if you visit casper.com. Additional fees may apply for Hawaii and Alaska. Terms and conditions apply. That's a big part of, of why I've been in a better mood lately. Uh, been getting seven hours plus of sleep. Intentionally, like if it wasn't, if I was left to my own devices to just do whatever, I would probably stay up late and do nothing and then get four hours of sleep. So <laughs> um, that's a big part of it lately. Sleep, 
sleep, eating well, working out. All key. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so back into the realness, right? This is a deep podcast. I'm, where's all the funny? Where's funny Swain? Where's Italian Swain? I don't know. All these bits. So the big thing that I'm trying to get out here today is I want to create something that is it doesn't it's not going to require a podcast level of attention um I wouldn't call it a diary of sorts I wouldn't even really call it a blog but I am working on something let's just call it a website um and it's been rattling in my head for a while. Like, I'm sure some of you are familiar with that. Like, it comes f- with all sorts of different kinds of creative projects. Like, you have that thing. Some people say, like, everyone's got a book in them. Um, for me, it's just, like, projects. So that's how uh, an idea rattling around in my brain is how this podcast started. So hopefully... Uh, this other idea I have uh, is as successful because it kind of straddles the same concepts. Um, it's all about me. Me. No. Um, it is a little bit about me, but uh, it starts off with a statement. And that statement is I'm bad at a lot of things. Um, almost downright terrible (laughs) Uh, for and for a long time pretty terrible at some stuff I was absolutely terrible with managing my finances or working out on my own or I don't know just in general I kind of was mediocre at some things we play video games let's there go playing video games um, but like I say, I'm a, I'm a dedicated type of person when it comes to learning. Ideally, if like perfect world, when I reach phi, I want to like, I don't know. I want to learn how to know, aquascape a fish tank <laughs> or build cosplay or something with my hands, learn to play the drums or like sing in a fucking metal band or something um even with like food there's still so much for me to learn like how do i make a pizza like i'm really drawn to detroit style pizza for some reason lately uh i could make that i have those skills or like in the back i've always wanted to learn baroque painting like a very specific style of painting. Um, And I feel like those things all perfectly reasonable, right? Uh, Part of this site, though, that I'm making is like, I want people to come along with me as I do things or learn things. And part of it is like, to keep me honest with some of the things I want to do. Because half the battle is like really keeping with something. Um, I thrive in that sort of pressure. Like, oh, the world is watching. I have to finish this thing. Or I really, I signed up. I gotta, I gotta see this through. So I think... I think this is the best way to put it is that I want to have you, the listener, join me on my journey to learn things, to experience things, to get better at things and not just video games. I want y'all to come along with me as we like transform everything about ourselves 
Uh, and I mean, there'll be loose, some pretty like loose guidelines. Like I really want to focus on Phi and helping people that might not be exposed to that sort of thing learn about it through an easy medium, like something very, uh, uh, not preachy. Like, Oh, there's a pot, there's a podcast I listen to that's super preachy sometimes. And it's like, it hurt. It hurts to listen to when someone gets that way. And I really want to make it like super entry level. Like it, here's the thing. If you want to learn about it, you learn about it. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to force it down your throat. Uh, I want people to learn about fitness with me. Like what's, how are we going to better ourselves by exercise or we've done diet bets in the past as part of crucible ready. We're doing one right now. (laughs) Um, And that always like gets me energized. So like, I'm sure fitness will be a part of it. Um, food. (laughs) That's something I'm really good at. And like, so like there'll be definitely some stuff that um I'm not I'm not good at at all. <laughs> and we'll learn about that together, but I also want to take some things I'm good at, really good at like food and share that with people and really take that expertise of food and incorporate it into these other things like fitness, frugalness, how to best make a meal out of what you have in your fridge. Um, how to get inventive with, you know, what you're making for dinner or for breakfast. Who knows? Um, and I say it's like fun stuff. Like I want, I want to share like how fun some things can be and how other people can access, like access those things. Like really take the stigma out of stuff that like, Oh, there's a hurdle I've got to jump to get into this thing, or that's too complicated for me. Uh, yeah. So the it's slow going. The website uh, it'll be out eventually. I would think maybe in March. We'll see. I'm not trying to force this. I really want it to come naturally because if I force more things into my life. Uh, I'm just going to be miserable. And that was the point. I don't want to be miserable. I want to be want to be happy. There's so much more I could talk about and really hit home on and really share with everyone. The best thing I can do is just kind of put point you in the direction. I think this is a good spot to kind of wrap things up on the show, this show, uh, I will at the very end, I'll give you guys the, the Twitter account to follow. Uh, and that'll really be where you can find this project in the future. I really want to hear from you guys that might get something out of this. Um, what sort of interest you have, what you want to see me talk about, like, uh, if there's food questions that you have, if there's recipes that you would love to have, or you have a question about like how to execute something, uh, I want to hear about it. I want to hear what you're thinking about. I want to hear that someone really had this speak to them and they're wanting to hear more about like what financial independence or fitness goals or oh oh justin you yeah i use my full name uh well not my full name my first name uh tell me more about that you know star wars cosplay you're working on it's uh it's going swell (laughs) uh but i really want to hear some feedback on this it's It'll make me happy that someone listened to this episode. Uh, yeah, let's just end this. Uh, the Twitter account you can go to uh, if you want to follow this project going forward is Get Good for Life. G E T G O O D F O R L I F E. Get Good for Life. 
that'll be the that'll be the the source when the website goes live when other parts of this it's gonna have a lot to it uh and i'm really excited to get good for life with y'all so hopefully this uh this wasn't too long of mine is about 38 minutes uh next week will be either next week will be bones i think i'm almost certain that's bones next week so uh you can find me also on twitter at swain sash s-w-a-i-n-s-t-a-c-h-e and uh yeah check us out week in week out we got a big backlog of you know destiny episodes a lot coming up. We've got some special projects we're working on. Uh, if you want to support the podcast, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash crucible radio. We do bonus podcasts twice a month about everything. It's kind of like this podcast. Talk a little bit about everything. You want to hear about Marvel or Star Wars, or you want to hear us talk about our morning routines. It's all there. It's all there to hear about. And it only costs a buck an episode. You can support Crucible Radio just a buck at a time. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And I thank you for stopping by and listening to my the ramblings of a mad <laughs> Have a good one. The killer has reached our We've got music this week from Daydreamer. Go check them out, daydreamerband.bandcamp.com. And uh, stay tuned, because this is not the last time I'm going to play them. So good. And hey, if you're a musician, we want to hear your music. Send us an email, crucibleradio at gmail.com. Disco ball in the dark. Dog with no bark, death found you. What's up, everyone? Bones here. Do you like podcasts? Do you like chill conversation? Well, me and my co-hosts Swain and Birds put out a bonus podcast every month on Patreon. If you want to check it out and be a part of more awesome stuff, head over to patreon.com crucibleradio and join the squad. See you there.